Good evening, my lady. Hello, my dear girl. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans? The very family in whose castle you live? Show some respect. I see you haven't changed. Perhaps it would benefit you to join our lesson? Perhaps you could make the topic more palatable for these lads and their minuscule intellects. Wonderful! Oh, the Coastland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, records are vague, but the Coastlands became Tyrns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Every day I pray to the Maker that my lessons will stick, and every day he tasks me anew. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young lady. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You can look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the Tyrnir of High Ever since before King Callan had united Ferelden. In fact, Tyrna Elethea Kuslan battled Callan had to maintain High Ever's independence. Callan had wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Callan had asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. The history between the Kuslans and the Howes reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course Orlay found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orlay, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harpers Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arl was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly ninety, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but how sided with Orlais? Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence! I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just 
talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. I don't have myself all this way to go to this way. Mother says the darkspawn will all be killed and I won't see one. Is that true? And my dear Bryce bought this back from Orlais last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my daughter, along with Sir Gilmore. Tell me, Sir Gilmore, has my pup collared that dog yet? Not just yet, your ladyship. Darling, do take care of that. That malodorous hound of yours is an excellent protector, but he drives Nan to distraction. I'm not asking you to travel to the moon. The kitchen is just around the corner. Sir Gilmore, see that it gets done. As your ladyship commands. Good. With any luck, I'll be able to feed my guests before the end of next week. Darling, you remember Lady Landra? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear girl. Didn't I spend half the salon trying to convince you to marry my son? And made a very poor case for it, I might add. You remember my son, Dairon. He's not married yet, either. Don't listen to her. It's good to see you again, milady. You're looking as beautiful as ever. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. Do say something, dear. It is a great pleasure, my lady. You are as pretty as your mother describes. And she says that after seeing you whacking stuffed men in the courtyard, sweating like a mule. Your daughter's prowess with the blade is most impressive. I was quite the battle maiden myself in my day. But I think it was the softer arts that helped me land a husband. You can go to the kitchen and deal with your hound. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your ladyship. Sir Gilmore. Evening, my lady. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder. But, mistress, it won't let us near. If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves. I swear it. Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. A blight wolf is what he is. How am I supposed to work like this? Oh dear. Mistress, calm down, please. That's it. I'll quit. Inform the turner. I'll go and cook at some nice estate in the Banorn. And please, we'll get the dog. Calm down. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait. Did you hear that?
Wild creatures ahead! Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. <coughs> I've seen larger. They come up from the Kakari wilds sometimes. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. What? Rats? Not the large grey ones. They'll rip you to shreds, they will! See, now you've gone and scared the servants. I expect those filthy things are dead. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here then, take these pork bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lady. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. <laughs> 